Han Solo was a human smuggler from the manufacturing planet Corellia who achieved galactic fame as a member of the Rebel Alliance and later the New Republic. From hidden smuggling compartments, Solo ambushes an Imperial scanning crew and two stormtroopers respectively. With Han and Luke now disguised as the two stormtroopers, the group begins to figure out how to escape. Luke convinces Han and Chewbacca to rescue Princess Leia with a vague promise of grand reward. Unfortunately, no one thought to plan for their escape, and Leia takes charge, blasting a hole through a nearby grate and jumping through while Han and Luke hold off a squad of stormtroopers. Well, hello fellow collectors, guys and girls from around the world. It's the Commander 35 back here again. Hope you're all doing well. Coming at you with another action figure review. Hasbro's Star Wars, The Black Series, Wave 8, 6 inch, Stormtrooper Disguise, Han Solo. So Han Solo, the ultimate badass of the Star Wars universe, right here before us in his Stormtrooper Disguise. Jumping into comparisons here, we got the actual Stormtrooper that Han's pretending to be on the right uh, from the Black Series as well, 6 inch. And on the left, we also have the Concept Art Snow Trooper 3 and 3 quarter inch from the Legacy Collection. So this will actually be my first Han Solo from the Black Series in their 6 inch form. I don't have the other one they released way back. I'd like to pick them up sometime, but this one will uh, suffice for sure. So obviously he's in the Stormtrooper armor here and it, you, you won't be able to see the rest of his body so you can only see his face. As for the likeness and all that with, um, you know, like Harrison Ford, does the figure look like him? I mean, it, it, not not greatly, but I mean, it does have a, a little bit of resemblance and it does justice enough to be an action figure. I mean, this is from Hasbro. You gotta think about that, consider that. I mean, he's got, you know, his brown hair, which is nicely um, sculpted, of course. Pretty much as always now from their six inch line. Um, give you like a little roll around of that. His eyes right there. Let's give you a little focus if we can. I mean like the, the eyebrows, the lips, the nose, even the chin. It all comes together and uh, it looks great. So you can tell Hasbro at least gave him an attempt at this. That There's nice texturing going right into the face, face sculpt itself. For a little extra detail they added in that little neck piece that you see in the films when they, when they take off the helmets. The body sculpt is um, it's pretty much the same exact figure as the Stormtrooper wolf that we just saw and uh, nothing else much has changed. It means the, the standard Stormtrooper white armor with you know we got the detonator right here we got the holster for the E-11 he has you know we got the you can see the jumpsuit through the, the opens of the armor. He's even got that little stupid annoying hole that I remember. I don't know why that's there it's because they kind of reuse this from the the sand trooper body because it had it had the backpack and you get some detailing right here like on the belt and right here in the stomach and this chest plate and you know so yeah it looks accurate i'd say to the film episode four uh new hope and on to the helmet piece that you can put on is it, it is removable it's not a separate piece you know so you can put his you can have his head and you can just put on his helmet whenever you please but there is slightly a problem that the helmet is out of scale, out of proportion, I should say. Try not to mind the awkwardness, but you can see the subtle difference between the helmets right here. You know, obviously it's due to the fact that he has a removable, you know, and his, his head's under there, so. Now you know why Sideshow does completely separate head sculpts. They have, like, helmets and heads, you can switch them out, so that way there's no, you know, uh, proportion errors and whatnot. He's got his one uh, E11 blaster rifle accessory, which has some actual silver detailing added in on there, as opposed to the other, where it doesn't. The Stormtrooper standard E11, which I thought that was pretty cool. It gives me more of a reason to pick up this figure. Han here has 20 points of articulation, and that's a fair amount. As you can get him in uh, pretty great poses, you know, because it's got him, you know, like. In his neck, his shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, you know, pretty much everywhere. I dropped this helmet, I know. I'll just put that back on. Because you know, since he is pretending to be somebody, he shouldn't have that off. You don't want to get caught by another stormtrooper, an actual one that's coming by to kick, you know, come kick your ass, arrest you, execute you, you know, the uh, typical Imperial stuff. I'll give him a 4 to 5. It's not my favorite figure ever released by the Black Series, but it is pretty decent. I'd say pick him up at the fair price of the $19.99 that they should be charging for retail. Um, yeah, uh, I approve of this figure. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of it. Are you planning on getting it? Or do you already have it somehow? Hmm. So until the next video, guys, keep the peace and love going. And uh, may the force be with you. Bye-bye.